Hi guys, hi Pilates Tron members. I'm just going to show you, or reiterate for those who've seen it before, an excellent exercise to encourage more extension of the upper back. Watch what I do. The thing you'll notice there is unilateral extension. If you look at the spinal column, either side of the spinal column, we have the, what's generically known as the rectus spinae muscles. But sometimes you can find certain people have more development of those muscles on one side of the body as compared to the other, which starts to make extension quite hard to perform in an evenly balanced way throughout the spinal column. So what this exercise does in point of fact is builds up the muscle mass on the weak side of the body. So say for example I'm weak on the left hand side here and I want to encourage those muscles to engage I'll actually slide my right hand out so those muscles at that side of the spine have to fire off a little bit more ferociously. I'll just quickly demonstrate one more time. Starting from here, I'll take an inhale, exhale, come up. Breaststroke one, normal rules apply, glute and arms engage. I'm really focusing the muscles of the upper back here. So let's say, for instance, I want to strengthen the right hand side of the body. This side, I'll slide the left hand out. So take an in, inhale, up I come into breaststroke. And from then, inhale or reach, slide the hand away now, avoiding rotation. Slide my hand away and we're coming to the end of range of movement. I stabilise my shoulders. Exhale, come back. Opposite side again, keeping the upper body stable. So the upper erectus spinal muscles really have to work hard here. Inhale, reach. Stabilise that shoulder. And exhale, come back. Inhale, exhale, come back. And that's the basics of the movement. Obviously, the normal rules apply when you're up into the breaststroke one position. You need to engage your abdominals and your backside muscles to hold the pelvis in the line that you do so. But we're now beginning to emphasize more the muscles of the upper back, which obviously takes uh, a little bit more concentration. How many repetitions of this exercise would I suggest you do? Well, the most important thing is to focus on the skill element. So maybe you would start off with doing three alternate repetitions on all sides, on both sides, shall I say, to give you a total of six repetitions. Then, if you want to build that up, obviously you can. Now, a lot of research has shown quite clearly that endurance of the muscles of the upper back help to protect against back injuries. So you may want to consider moving on to maybe even 10 to 12 repetitions. Notice how I use my breath as well. Inhale on the way up. The diaphragm is working, exhale to come back. And of course, stabilizing the shoulders at the same time as you slide your hand out. But notice I kept my hand in contact with the floor at all times. Enjoy.